the first presentation is on insecticidal active bacillus thuringiosis with potential lepidopteran activity the presenter is mr Bala Rameshin and the other two presenters, Mr. That's C D S I Virasena and R Samarasekar. I think the presenter is the first. No, yes, R Samarasekar. Sorry, but. afternoon uh, chairperson dr dbt jayaratna and ladies and gentlemen so my presentation title is insecticidal active bacillus thuringiensis with potential lepidopteran activity so you all aware now food security and food safety are global concerns today uh, due to many factors uh, including limited arable land for agriculture global warming and climatic changes so major constraint of increase in ag agriculture productivity is crop pest in this scenario the biological pesticides going to play a major role as because uh, synthetic pesticides we all aware that the problems we are facing with the synthetic pesticides especially health concern to humans and also environmental factors therefore uh, also in sri lanka application of these biological pesticides are at very infant level and however now we are used for the synthetic pesticides and we are experiencing the ba bad effects of these synthetic pesticides in this scenario biological pesticides going to play a major role under biological pesticide the microbial pesticide something like bacillus thuringiensis which is a bacterium is going to play a major role so what is bacillus thuringiensis uh, bacillus thuringiensis is a soil bacterium gram positive spore forming uh, and rod shape aerobic bacilli so bacillus thuringiensis is the most successfully commercialized biocontrol agent under biopesticides today and it's may it's used mainly in different countries to control a number of uh, insect pest under order lepidoptera uh, dipteran and coleopteran pest uh, to control vegetable rice forest and other field crops uh, affecting insects so upon sporulization this bacillus thuringiensis forms uh, crystalline inclusions called crystal proteins and these crystal proteins as well as these sit uh, sit proteins cytolytic toxic proteins are encoded with the genes which are cry and sit genes they are the insecticidal component active component uh, of this bacillus thuringiensis up to date 73 cry and 3 sit family genes are reported and you could see uh, under the sporulation bacterium you can see the crystal which is a insecticidal ingredient so uh, different uh, bacillus thuringiensis species subspecies are reported to date like bacillus thuringiensis aisavi bacillus thuringiensis kerstecki bacillus thuringiensis digdasen bacillus thuringiensis israelensis and this bt uh, species contain cry genes uh, which are insecticidal so if it is a lepidopteran toxic bacillus thuringiensis it contains cry 1 Uh, cry 2 and cry 9 genes so uh, objective of the present study is to isolate and to identify bacillus thuringiensis with potential lepidopteran activity from sri lankan environment samples methodology so we were collecting samples from sri lanka uh, from soil water and dead insect samples 
they were collected from different agriculture fields and forests in our country. Then the isolation was carried out following the sodium acetate heat treatment technique based on acetate selection. And single colonies were subcultured on Luria Bertani LB agar medium and incubated at 30 for 24 hours to obtain the pure cultures. After identification of this BT culture, subsequent subculturing was carried out on again LB agar plates to isolate the pure colonies. Also, we use chromogenic method to identify Bacillus thuringiensis, and these Bt-like colonies were plated on chromogenic Bacillus ega, which is a specific medium, and this indicates different forms of soil bacilli species specific with colony colors. So, for example, if, if you have Bt, you can see blue-green colonies uh, for the Bt, and for other Bacillus species, you could see different colors. And the phenotypic characterization of Bt isolates were carried out uh, using gram staining, endospore staining, and coumacin blue staining. And the molecular characterization of the Bt uh, for cry genes were ca carried out using plasmid DNA extraction followed by PCR amplification of cry genes, insecticidal cry genes, and agarose gel electrophoresis for the detection of these cry genes. This is the protocol for plasmid DNA extraction. And followed by, uh, we use the list Lepidopter and oligonucleotide primers to identify the insectile cry genes in these Bt isolates. Uh, we use different primer sequences for cry 1, cry 2, and cry 9 genes, which are insectile. And the PCR, uh, PCR uh, were carried out uh, using optimized conditions and uh, we then detect the cry genes. Also, we undertook the sequencing, use GYRV and 16S RNA gene sequencing to identify the bacillus thuringiensis plus the subspecies. Results and discussion. So, we isolated uh, seven BT and from different samples collected from Sri Lanka. And these seven uh, Bt isolates had Bt-like colonies which showed morphological similarities to those of standard Bacillus thuringiensis, having white, rough, opaque with undilated margin and round-shaped colonies. And all these seven isolates had crystal violet staining positive as well as for other staining things. Also, these Bt colonies gave positive results for gram staining Endospores were stained as green elliptical structures within pink vegetative cells in all these isolates. And under chromogenic identification, these Bt colonies were appeared as blue-green colonies when cultured on this chromogenic bacillus ega. So molecular characterization of cry genes, uh, PCR amplification showed the presence of cry 1, cry 2, and cry 9 gene in these seven isolates, BT AB1, AB2, AB6, AB7, AB10, AB15, and AB16. BT AB125, which is a bacillus thuringiensis together is an, and BT AB142, which is BT Kirsteki, were used as positive standards. You could see in all these seven isolates, either CRI-1, CRI-2, or CRI-9 genes were present. Then uh, GYRB gene sequencing, uh, from that we were able to identify the subspecies of the all seven isolates. BT AB1 as Bacillus thuringiensis kirsteki, AB2 as BT jagadesan, AB6 as uh, BT graciensis, AB7 again as BT graciensis, and AB10 as Again, BT graciensis and AB15 as BT kirsteki, AB16 as again BT graciensis, and AB125 and 142 are the positive standards which we use. Conclusion uh, We isolated and identified seven Lepidopteran toxic BT strains having uh, Lepidopteran to uh, toxic cry genes from our environment. And this is the first report for the presence of BT graciensis. We have isolated four isolates in Sri Lanka. And further, there is no record found regarding the presence of uh, graciensis except from gracio and asocin world. 
According to our findings, uh, Bt gaseonsis can be toxic for insect orders of Lepidoptera because they contain toxic Lepidoptera and toxic Cry1 and Cry19. Also, we isolated two strains of Bacillus thuringiensis cursedaki, again with Lepidoptera and toxic Cry genes, Cry1, 2, and 9, and one uh, strain of Bt gaseonsis from Sri Lanka. And this finding suggests that uh, Sri Lankan isolates of BT have potential to control lepidopteran pests in our agriculture. These are the references used. And finally, I would like to acknowledge for the financial support from National Science Foundation and National Research Council grants. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. And now the presentation is open for discussion. You can wait here. Yeah. Yes, please. Is uh, bacteria toxic to uh, the insect or the larvae? Insect larvae. So this has to be So how do you how do you apply uh, for this? Uh, if you make it to a formulation, is this just spraying to uh, the vegetable or whatever? So they are not toxic to insect. It's only toxic to uh, insects. To insects, it is toxic. Not uh, no. I mean, like, is it uh, toxic only to larvae or to both larvae and the insects? In the absence of any other questions, we'll show our appreciation once again to her usual manner. You can sit over there, please.